Hi, my name is Mass, and here's some basic instructions on how to use the Wise Adventure game in Unity. If you've downloaded the Wise Adventure game, you'll find three buttons. The first one is the Wise Adventure game, the build, the actual game. The next one is the Wise project, and the third one is the Unity project. Now click the Unity project. Now you can move around all windows in the Unity project. Each of the windows can be dragged to another place. So if you at any time mess up anything in the views, let's take uh, the hierarchy here and put it down here, or the inspector in the middle, or something like that, you can always revert back to the default view by going to Windows, Layout, and Default. Let's go through a few of the windows. So in the button, you will find the project view. The project view contains all the files within the asset folder. The asset folder contains everything in the game, like game objects, scripts, scenes, tons of other stuff. In the Wise Adventure Game folder you just downloaded, you'll find a Wise Adventure Game source folder. Within this, you'll find an asset folder. This is the same asset folder as you see in the project view. A few tips for using the project view. In the bottom right side, you can take the slider to the left side to get a list view. Now, when you're working with scenes, you might sometimes want to find a certain prefab. Whenever you drag in a prefab, you'll drag in the game object and all the script assigned to it. So if you need a evil spit plant, you can simply hold it down and drag it into the window. Now, there's a lot of stuff in the project view. So to only get the prefabs, you can click the search by type and select prefab. And now you only have the relevant prefabs. Let's now delete the search and find the main scene. Double click it. Press don't save. Now let's jump up to the hierarchy window. In this window you'll find all game objects. Right next to it you'll find the scene and the game view. The scene view is where you work with everything in the game and the game view is where you'll run the game. Select the scene view and select the player in the hierarchy window. Now move your mouse into the scene view and press F. F means to focus on the player. Using the middle mouse button you can scroll out and if you click and hold the right mouse button you can play the scene view just like a game with WASD and move the mouse around to look in the game. If you ever get lost, you can always just find the object in the hierarchy window and press F. Now to move things in the scene view, you need to select the object. Let's take a zone. And then in the top left corner, you will find various controls. Whereas the first hand tool is moving the camera. The second one is the move tool. You can also click W to get that tool. And with this tool, you can move all objects in the scene in all three directions. The next tool is the rotate tool. And you can access that with the E button. And with that tool, you can rotate all objects in all three directions. The last tool you need to learn is the scale tool. And with this tool, you can scale all objects to a completely obnoxious size in all three directions. If you want to play the game, you can press play above the scene view. To exit play mode, you can press escape to access the menu and then press the play button again. If you are following the certification or want to learn more about Wise Adventure Game, you can click on the signpost.